What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive and looking at Rudiger. Is he one of the best centre-backs in the game? Can he compete as a free centre-back with some of the best end-game level centre-backs, such as Nesta, Maldini, Tommy Yashu, Araujo, and the new Turam? Well, these are his stats. We're going to have a deeper look at those in a second. He's also got off-the-rip brilliant player skills. You've got blocker, interception, man-marking, aerial superiority, and fighting spirit and sliding tackle. The only thing he doesn't have that you'll need to give him is acrobatic clearance. But we can get into that because you can train this card very, very nicely. So we're going to let a couple of raw clips play out here, right? We're not going to really break it down too much. Look at the space that's been covered by the AI. That is exceptional positioning from Rudiger. I think Rudiger is definitely one of the most reactive and kind of quickest center backs in the game, especially if you manually defend with him. I have a rule of thumb that I always manually defend with my destroyer center back. And we're going to do a comparison between the free Saliba or the match pass Saliba who costs about 50 coins. We are going to do an example of, even though Saliba's got better stats, Rudiger seems more mobile. He seems more versatile. He seems more nippy at the back, right? He kind of feels like he has it all. And this has kind of been the way with Rudiger's cards for a while. You can see here, I'm playing against my opponent here, and it's from Rudiger to Rudiger, end to end. He blocks it with Rudiger, I block it with Rudiger here, cutting out the gap. But look how responsive he is. This might look like, yeah, obviously, you know, I'm manually controlling him, but sometimes you can manually control different center backs and they just won't move. Obviously, it's going to be about covering as well. Look at his position in here. I'm blocking and manually defending with Aldair, but my AI is positioned Rudiger that if anything falls through, Rudy is back there. And obviously with the reaction of the fence, especially if you're playing with destroyers and you're chasing down balls and leaving gaps open, it does really depend on your opponent's skill level and also the connection. The connection is probably the big one. So we had Saliba and Rudiger on our route to top rank 69 in the world. This is the build that we had with him. You can go back and watch the stream last Thursday if you want to check out even more raw gameplay. We had hours and hours of footage of Rudy. This is the build, lads. 88 speed, 91 defensive awareness, 95 tackling, 99 aggression, and 88 defensive engagement. I'm going to be working on a video, and bringing it out very soon, of how to train with the free reset players per their play style and their position. So a destroyer center back, you're going to be looking for different things in that type of player compared to a build-up such as Saliba. So Rudiger and Saliba are not going to be very comparable it's more going to be like, can Rudy compare with Maldini or so to speak? That's going to be where you're going to be going with it, right? So this is the build that we've actually gone for here. It's a very simplified build. 8, 4, 12, starting with lower body, aerial strength, and defending. If you want to kind of cut back on the aerial strength, you can get two more into speed, which would put it at around the 90 mark. I personally don't think that you need 90 speed with Rudy. Honestly, I've played a lot of games with him. He's not going to be as good as Turam. But he is very, very good in the air and very, very mobile. So I definitely do um, feel that Rudiger can do a big job for you, especially if you're playing free to play. I mean, you can essentially have a backline of Costa Curta. This is an issue with the game, obviously. Um, I didn't mean to shoulder charge there, but it is an issue with the game that the referees do not call shoulder charge a lot of the time. Um, but Rudy is so strong and so aggressive that he literally just throws people off the ball. That should have been a penalty 100%. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is just a gameplay issue at the moment. And this is a comparison as well. We're going to show you a comparison between Rudiger's two best ever cards that they released. The first one on the right is going to be his player of the week card. I know a lot of you guys have that. You can't give blocker to that Rudiger because he's a player of the week card. You literally, he's a booster. You can't touch his card. This guy, Rudiger on the left, the main one we're talking about now, the speedster, he has blocker from the rip, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance. And then the second Rudiger is from way back when. This is actually a rare enough card. A lot of people don't have him. And this card, genuinely, lads, got me to Division 1 two or three times in eFootball 2023. He was an absolute beast at the back. But this new Rudiger definitely compares to him more so than the older card. Bit more speed, exceptional player skills, as we talked about. Again, he does have blocker. And, of course, we just need to give him acrobatic clearance if we can. But for a free card, lads, you could essentially have... Costa Corta from the free daily login, the penalties, as your left back or right back. You could have Saliba for 50 coins, which is very easy to get. It's just playing one event, um, you know, or, or saving up essentially with the, with the net price. And then you could have Rudiger. So you could have a back three of those. And then whatever right back or left back you have, depending on if you want to play a full back, you can very, very ha have a very good solid center back partnership with Saliba and Rudiger. They kind of, you know, 
they, they back up each other's weaknesses and cover each other's weaknesses where they can be exposed. Rudiger is very much high action, high aggression, high tackling, high speed. Saliba is more of a patient, defensive awareness type player. So yeah, we will focus on Saliba next. But yeah, it's a massive thumbs up for me on Rudiger. Let me know what you guys think of him. I always hate playing against Rudiger. He always seems to dominate against me. But let me know what you guys think and we'll be back very, very soon. Peace.